Welcome to this week's wrap up. We are here actively in a classroom where students are coming in at Donellan Middle School. I am so pleased to be here with Miss Wood and Miss Murphy. And we just, you just got recognized I with know. a very special award. I got surprised. I'm getting a little old for this. Yeah. But I'm going to start with, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the surprise in a minute, but I have to provide a compliment to you first. And I did this in front of your, your students. You just kept teaching. Ms. Murphy and I both noticed yes. you had a whole lot of people come in here. You just kept teaching and focused on the needs of our students. So thank you for that. And they're great kids too. So. Well, they have a great teacher. Mm -hmm. And so you got recognized by um, fans through the hospital district for short video yes. award for anti-vaping. So we talk a lot about how do we help provide information to our students so that they understand the choices they make, um, what consequences they could have, but not just consequences, making healthy choices. So, but you were teaching a lesson when we came in, you didn't know we were coming. <laughs> and I'd love for you to talk with us about the PSA lesson you were teaching and what you were instilling in them about how they can educate others. Would you mind doing that? I know I'm putting you on the well, spot. I, it's, I always it's, put everybody on the spot. But. We always start the year with public service announcements. In fact, I'm kind of being braggy. We've been state champion in public service announcements five years in a row. We, we, we saw that too. Yes, and, and we have one in the top three this year. It's just, it, it's, it's a short message, but the kids have to gather the information, do the research, and figure out a creative way to present the information. So it's a challenge. It's not a lot of writing, but it's like every word that they write is important and crafted. And um, their imaginations can go wild. And, and it's just, I enjoy seeing what they come up with. Right. So, Well, and what skills do you think they're learning that are going to be practical for them on the job? Well, they're learning video production skills. They're learning writing skills. And even reluctant writers right. can get into writing a PSA. Right. And then they're going to learn teamwork yeah. and, um, and, and you know, working with people that they might not normally work with right. and to create you know, an end product that everybody's proud of. Right. Thinking about serving, persuasion, mm -hmm. understanding their yes. audience, right? So no matter what, if they choose a different field, they'll understand the audience they're speaking to and who they're serving. I thought were, that was fantastic, the lesson that yes. she was teaching. Very. Do you want to add anything? I know you've seen a lot since you've been. I have. Um, I'm just blessed um, to just have Ms. Wood on our campus <laughs> as a staff member. But you are a blessing to this community because as kids move on to high school, they're pursuing um, continuing on with TV production. So mm -hmm. that speaks volumes in what how you are impacting our students. And, and the ones that, that were part of this competition, I mean, I, I just, I can't wait to share the news with them because they're now yeah. at high school, so. And you mentioned that when we came in about where they are now and reaching out and letting them know the impact that they've had, which is, which yes. is fantastic. They're so, gonna feel great. Yeah, we appreciate all that Thank you. Doing. I'm yes. just so surprised and I'm yeah. gracious for you to be in here. Congratulations <laughs> for, for this award, but also for the work that you're doing. Thank you. And, yes. and what, Thank a you. Great, what a great model for others. I love it. Great job. Thanks. Thank you.